Hi everyone, finally took an overdue vacation. It was nice to get away and clear my head and just meet my friends and uh, family. Uh, while on vacation, I got to see three of my knives that I have recently made. Uh, we flew out of Sacramento, had a layover in Baltimore and uh, ended up in uh, Massachusetts. There is a light that's located under your seat. Use this vest. I'm even instructed to do so. To remove the vest, pull the strap on the container, remove the pouch, remove the vest, place it over your head, wrap the black strap around your waist, buckle it in the front, and pull it tight. Once outside the aircraft, may inflate the vest by pulling down on the red tab, or manually inflate by blowing into the two back of your shoulder. The flight attendants are back to the cabin. Check that your seatbelts are back to the back We actually do have another special person on board the aircraft today. I did want to mention this. this gentleman is sitting towards the very, very front of the aircraft. He's celebrating his 90th birthday and it's his very first flight. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So when you get off the airplane, stick your head in the cockpit and wish our captain a very happy birthday. <laughs> Welcome to the only man behind you can find it this week on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, welcome to Hawaii. Please The next day we drove to Boston. We drove through a couple of tunnels. It was amazing to see how long they were. Very nice structure. Uh, once we got to Boston, we went to Boston Science Museum. When I was a kid, I once went there. Uh, we took a field trip with our school and I wanted my kids to have the same experience as I did. So it was pretty exciting to be there again. If you're out there in uh, Boston, I strongly suggest going there. It's a nice place.
Boston was a very chill city to hang out. The next day we drove south three hours to New York City. Once we got there I noticed three things. Lots of traffic, tall buildings, lots of people. People of New York, I wish you a lot of health because while I was walking on a sidewalk, I was walking faster than an ambulance that was stuck in traffic. So I wish you all the health because uh, I, I wouldn't want to be in an ambulance and be stuck in that traffic. Later that day we took an elevator ride up to the 80th floor of the Empire State Building. After that we went to 86th floor and the last stop was 102nd floor. Amazing view. If you guys are in New York, check it out. Great scenery. Before leaving on vacation I contacted the owner of the Tanto Knife and we decided to meet up. It's illegal like that. <laughs> so guys I never I never thought that I would see my knife again but here it is again. Never used and never it's gonna be used. Wow. It's too perfect. Can I hold it? Yes of course that's your knife you made it. <laughs> wow. I, I honestly thought I would never see it again. Wow. Oops. Man. 
I missed this night. Yeah, that was the, I think, the best production. After we checked out of the hotel, we drove to Lower Manhattan and took a boat taxi to see the Statue of Liberty and all the scenery. <laughs>
New York is a very, very wonderful place to visit. I wouldn't want to live there, but it's an awesome experience to be there. And definitely two days was not enough to see or go to all the locations that we wanted to. So if you're in New York, uh, at least five days. Once we were back in Massachusetts, I spent a lot of time catching up with my family and friends. I got a chance to ride in a Mercedes. It's a 1988 560 SL and drink some Cuban coffee. We're gonna have some Cuban coffee. After you smoke a fat Cuban cigar. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Chin is warming up. I'm gonna put some milk in here. This is raw, unpasteurized, and homogenized milk. Tominanita, from the Mennonite County. Nice. This is called a frother. So you put it on and it's basically, it's gonna start warming up the milk as it's spinning it. So let me open this up for you. Let's see what it's doing. Capsule in here, pop that in, give me a fine piece of silverware, glassware. Put that in, now this is Cuban coffee. You the contrast? And that's pretty much it. Open this up and it'll just dispense the capsule back in there. And that's where you get the saying, Swiss made. There's only two things in this Swiss, fine watches and fine cars. <laughs> now this here, you're not going to find anything else in this Swiss. Thank nice. you. Nice. Fine, fine, fine stuff, like optics. Optics you'll get in Switzerland. Uh, fine the factory machinery. Oh, roller coasters, are most of them are made in Switzerland or Germany. You go to Six Flags, made in Switzerland. That's interesting. Yeah. They got some crazy engineers in there. Anyways, your coffee's ready, senor. Enjoy. Let me sprinkle some dust. Vasil, do you want some? Yeah. Cheers, Cuba. Thank you, brother. The last two knives that I got to see and hold were uh, one of them was my brother's knife that I made for him. It's uh, one of the two gut hook hunting knives that I made. And the other one was the. Um, Krauser knife I made for my uh, previous superintendent. That's beautiful work. It is. So guys, this is a different uh, knife. Well, same kind of knife that I made on YouTube, but this one has a glass breaker in the back. And now it belongs to one of my best superintendent <laughs> supervisors that I used to work with. I will cherish this forever.
it's been three weeks since I came back from vacation and I tried to get this video out as soon as possible but I just got slammed with a lot of work. Uh, we worked a lot of hours and worked a lot of nights so I'm glad this is over and I get to start making knives again so I have not made up my mind which knife I'm gonna go with but there's quite a few of them so as soon as I start making one you will see it on my snapchat or Instagram storylines alright guys thanks for watching I'll see you with a different video